What's going on, everybody? Wanted to get a video out real quick because I got PSA back plus a couple pieces in the mail. Don't forget, tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern, we will be going with uh, Extreme Overtime Live. It'll have me and CVC starting off with a box battle real quick. And then we'll move on to having um, Eric from Gem Mint Grading live in the chat. So if you guys have questions, he's there to answer. and He's going to talk over some stuff, too. So check us out tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern. If not, you check the replay tomorrow, guys. Alrighty, this here picked up. Now this is before Mosaic went stupid crazy with um, all the uh, retail. So this Trey Young True Mosaic, great card um, to have off here. I think Trey Young's a great player out there, but you know it's just unfortunate where everything's at. Hopefully they could uh, win later on today. Alrighty, so that was picked up. So now to advance that, I'm gonna probably get rid of my uh, Don Russ that's laying back there. Another pickup. Mike Schmidt from Sterling this year. This is out of 15. I'm guessing it's about a $105, $110 card, somewhere around there offhand. So I'm going to get this put in the store this weekend in case somebody wants it. I don't know when, though. All right, PSA time. We got four cards back in. These were expressed. This was the package that was originally lost out there. Let me grab uh, this thing here open so I can get ready to pull out some of these nifty uh, new PSA things. Have you guys ever seen these? These are the ones that are cut different. And they're made by uh, Cardboard Gold. All right, up first, we got a Kuna Trout. My prediction on this was going to be an 8 coming back because, one, the centering and the black border is very hard onto it. And then I also knew there was some whiting on the back on the corners, which was going to cost me to begin with. This card originally was selling for over $1,000. Um, and it was going on like that for about two, three months. I did notice there was only one in the pop count prior to mine being graded. It was a PSA 7. So I was thinking this was going to maybe be an 8 offhand, but I wanted to get it graded just in case. Came back a 7 as well. These are going to be really hard grades this year. Um, like I said, the only reason I got it is because I didn't want to sell it raw and somebody think that it was going to be a 9 and then they get disappointed and have to worry about the whole charge back thing and all that onto it now this is for sale arnie has first shucks he's been asking me about it for a while last rod just sold for 900 i will do 750 on it shift and insured if arnie wants it just let me know if not i will have it up for sale in case anybody wants it but i went ahead and graded it ahead of time because like i said i knew heritage was going to have many issues this year this being hand numbered out of 25, you know, on card of both Acuna and Soto, it's going to be what it is this year. I, I think, honestly, if you see an 8 or a 9 out there, you probably need to grab it because I looked at a lot of these Heritage, and there were just so many issues across the board on them. All righty. Up next, I thought I labeled this as a, I thought it was going to be a 10 going in. Got a 9. Orange Scripps Morant. And then I figured out why. Right up here is a little bit of white. Right up in there. So they got me. I figured it might be able to sneak through being on the back of the card, but I was definitely off. One I will be holding on to, though, uh, just to see how well he does next year. I mean, will he bounce back? Because I, th I still think he was not the same player after the knee injury. So I'm hoping something changes in him next year. These were really hard pulls out of retail. And to pull, you know, either Moran or Zion was pretty big. So, pretty cool overall. Happy with it, because I didn't have much invested in any of these. Now, I didn't pay the new express fees on any of this, just so you guys know. This was still old, old, old pricing. Up next, this was pulled by uh, G1 for me in a break. This was the Prism RPA Herbert. I'm just putting this up over it real quick. These are very hard grades because you've got to go inside. Here's going to be graded onto the card for edges and surface and all that. My guess was a 9 on this, and that's what it did. It came back a 9. Overall, happy that, you know, it's graded now. There's nothing nobody can say when I decide to sell it and everything onto it. It does look like, though, inside here, for some reason, these sticker cases, they have like a plastic coating or something up here because... Just weird looking inside there. I don't know. Maybe it's just the thicker ones that do that too. 
But very happy with this overall. Probably something I'll move during football season. And the only reason I want to move is because of the next card. Once I can get this. I don't know if this is going to fit in one of these. Nope. It is not. I kind of should have figured that out to begin with. Now I got to fight the adhesive to put this back in. Yeah, I forgot that these uh, ones here are for like the smaller thin cards. Come on, you can get in there. Good, whatever you call these things. All right, let me find a protector here for it. Of course, I got stuff everywhere from this morning. And, yeah, a lot of stuff from this morning is going to be going out to uh, SGC. I mean, the stuff that's worth, you know, over 100 bucks because I just don't want to have to basically end up dealing with uh, having people like, oh, there's this wrong with it, that's wrong with it, whatever it may be. So, yeah, probably, I think it was like 10 cards out of it all I'm sending into SGC Monday. All because you guys know tomorrow's federal holiday and all that. There we go. I don't like these just because they're so bulky, these cases. I, I gotta see if they got thicker ones for them. But no, I don't want to. Pretty cool overall. This one here was pulled again by G1. Then I must invest in it, hit it into a random number break. It is Justin Herbert iMac. Every one of these that have come out have been eights or nines, guys. Eights or nines. And where it is. Pop one. This is something I will be holding on to. This is the true RPA adjusted Herbert from iMac. I'll let the horn keep going for a second. Again, like I was saying, this is the true RPA adjusted Herbert. And being a pop one, I want to say there was probably about 10 others graded at eights and nines, maybe a few more. Now, there's been some that went to Beckett too. So if this kid is legit, Five, ten years down the road. This could be a big card, to be honest, on to it. Not too sure, but this is one that I am not going to let leave my hands for a long time offhand. Very, very hard grade. Um, when I was looking this over, I told a couple people, I said, this is definitely a 9, but it has a strong case to be a 10. And I... I you know, this here, these did go under, well, the, these two did go under magnification. The other two I just eyeballed and just sent in. But um, this one here, I was like, yeah, if this comes back at 10, this is going to be a long hold. Uh, you just never know. I mean, if the dude does really well down the road, it could be a big car. It really could be, you know, five, 10 years down the road. At the same, especially with this being a pop one right now. The other thing with it is that I literally, with grading, have under $200 invested in this card. So I'm not, like, having, like, oh, man, I got to flip it and all this stuff. And that's with grading fees, guys. 200 bucks. all I got into it. I think I had $100, basically, in the filler for a serial number break. And then uh, 75 bucks to grade it. Which I was surprised they didn't upcharge me. I, I really was. And this here deserves these cool cases back here. You guys see these? I've been picking these up. Just a little extra protection. It makes it look nice, especially whenever you have it on display somewhere. Okay. Let's get in there. Or are we not getting in? There we go. I should have done pictures before I put it in there, but there it is. Like I said, long-term keep gets its own holder. Other than that, everybody, appreciate you watching the videos, hanging out this morning if you were able to while I was looking over some of my own cards. But like I said, I'm pro these are the ones I'm sending in to uh, SGC just to see what happens. Bellingham, Howard, the Brady, Jordan 1, Jordan 2. This is a Bo. Yeah, that's Bo Bichette Sapphire. The Lou Bob had the printer lines on the Anthony Edwards. And one of these is, okay, there's Hertz. So this is the uh, field level Herbert there. So 
figure I'd get them graded because I just don't even want to deal with eBay and hearing people say, oh, well, I saw this saw onto it, even though it was in the description. Just one of those things on to it. All right, thank you, everybody. Hopefully, I get to see you guys tonight for the live stream. Don't forget, giveaway uh, tomorrow ends at 1 p.m. Eastern, and I'll get a video out shortly sometime after that in the afternoon. Other than that, if I don't get to see you guys in the live chat, happy Father's Day on Sunday, and I will catch you all later.